Christian story. I was 12 years old and it was the summer before my sixth grad. My class decided to go for a bicycle trip around the villages where we lived. The day before the trip, I was shut out of the team. They said that I couldn't be a part of the group because it, I wasn't a normal person. I didn't have a normal family because I lived with foster parents. I couldn't do anything and I felt lonely and sad because of that situation. Louise's story. I had played rugby since I was eight, but at 12 I had to give it up because I was a girl. At 18 I rejoined when they started a women's section. We had to fund our travel, had old kit and poor pitch conditions. The men had new kit, great pitches and their travel was funded by the club. As women we felt we were not important and we didn't matter. Although disheartened, it united us to fight against this inequality and demand respect from the club. It's taken us seven years, but we are finally equal. Our personal stories have impact on a local level, but our shared stories about inequality highlight something profound. We are all given an equal right to life and all deserve to be treated as an equal to everyone else, regardless of where we come from. In both our stories, Christian and Louise just needed respect and kindness in order to feel equal. If we begin locally by helping each other and treating each other with respect, a ripple effect begins, and like a ripple, a series of waves can travel globally which can make the world a more equitable place.